Well, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to a React Indie tonight, episode one, the brand new first episode of season two of Oshinoko. Um, we've watched season one already, okay? And now we're back at it again for season two. The new episode just came out today, like six hours ago or seven hours ago or something like that, so your boy had to get on it. Uh, we're gonna be watching these hopefully as they come out every week by week. There's not too much to say, okay? New OP, I'm assuming new ED. I don't know if we get the ED this episode or not, but I'm almost, it's almost guaranteed we're getting the new OP. So that's gonna be very, very exciting. When it comes to like what's actually happening in the story, um, there's like that like play or like show or performance that everybody was getting like, um, like rolled into. That's pretty much what I remember last. I'm, I, I assume they're gonna hook us up with a little bit of a, a little bit of information, you know, get get the ball rolling again. So we'll see if we need to recap any of season one, probably after this episode. But shout out season one. It's already in the playlist. Check it out in the description. Season two, I'm really excited to see where it goes. Shout out Aqua. Shout out Ruby. Shout out Connor. Shout out, shout out them all. Shout out them all. I'm uh, excited to see them again. So let's just, without further ado, jump into it. Episode one of season two in a three, a two, a one. Oh, oh sorry. I'm excited. You got to give me that one. I'm excited. All right, all right, all right. Ready? Three, two, one. Bang! That's me sitting down right now to watch Oshinoko season two. Boom, boom, bring. Dude, what are they doing, bro? Okay, so let me shut up. This is a clean performance. Bro, I, I want to actually see this IRL, you know? Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> what if it was like tricked you? This isn't even Oshinoko. <laughs> Blade. Is that the main character? That's the thing. Like, so these are like the different characters I think they're performing as. I just don't know who's. I don't. We gotta figure out who's who. We gotta remember their Tsurugi. We gotta remember their um faces and like, cause they're wearing costumes, bro. So I don't even know if these are our guys. I think they gotta be, right? Let me just shut up. Let me just shut up and lock on. Kizami. Alright, Kizami's my least favorite. Those were weak punches. Those were weak. Come on. Okay, that's gonna be Aqua, right? That guy just looks like an Aqua-typed character. Is that... Wait, I actually can't tell. That could... That almost looks like a Kane. I, dude, I... Okay, let me shut up. Can you give me, like, a... Like, a credits? Like, who the cast members are? You know what I mean? Toiki? Ooh, the beautiful music for the beautiful character. Princess Saya. These could be somewhat new characters too. Okay. Tokyo Blade! The stage play. This is a cool stage play because it has like um I like the uh like the camera effects. Shut up! New OP. New characters, two new ones. They're practicing swordsmanship. Some damn show. Dang, bro. There's like a half and half white and black or like white and red, like hairstyle character. Who's that gonna be, bro? Damn. Good visual metaphor. Who are you? Okay, I'm interested in both. Oh, okay, the reincarnation. I like it. Damn. Hey, rest in peace. Rest in peace, my girl. <laughs> Who's that? 
Oh, dude, this OP is already doing so much. I can't. No, don't jump off a ledge chasing her. That's just... Bro, that's kind of a dark metaphor, is it not? Oh, they transformed into their characters. Bro, Ruby, you're having way too much fun there. <laughs> she was straight jamming, bro. That's the main four. That's my main four right there. Oh, yeah, they still have their, um... Well, like, Bikamachi 2. I forgot, I forgot. Bikamachi 2? Something like that. Hey, do the bow, do the bow. Why is she in the crowd? Oh, she's in the crowd, like, spiritually. Oh, dude, that OP was clean. I gotta rewatch it and, like, analyze that. Oh, okay. Back to Tokyo Blade. Regularly scheduled programming. Well, this isn't gonna be triggering at all if uh, Aqua is in this. <laughs> Not at all. Toki. Okay, he is Toki. And then Akane is Princess Saya. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my goodness, and remember she was literally like the like she if she can really like embody I when she really wanted to that one time. Kanatsuregi. Melt is Kizami. I appreciate them doing all the names there. That's so crazy. That she literally was like embodying I, and then he has a scene where she's like bleeding out and he's over top her. That's such a crazy parallel. That's just rude. Alright, good transition. I'll give him that one. B Komachi, that's right. Yay, yay! Is that the same guy in the front? I think I recognize that guy in the front. Bro's on the hunt. He's on the hunt. He's lone wolfing it. Shout out Aqua. I miss Aqua! I miss him! I love him. Girlfriend? Oh, we're locked in. Okay. Oh, right. I mean, well, no, no, no. But they weren't actually. Right? Yeah, yeah. Only for work's sake. Yeah, that's what I meant. Poor Kana. I love Kana. Aw. Bro, I miss I so much. Okay, she's just in Bikomachi then. Okay. So I assume them three are like one thing and the Tokyo Blade group's another. Oh, I know, except Kana's in it. Bro, the animation in this show is so good. Even just her, like, looking down at him, like, fixing her hair. Bruh. Be nice. <laughs> Be nice to my girl. This guy, this guy. Yeah, I mean, he's absolutely right. The leader of the theater company. Okay. That's our target. She's about to say something crazy. They're hiding her eyes. Oh, that freaks me out. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. That's just weird. Don't do the... That's why they were hiding their eyes. So they could do a spooky star eyes reveal. She got freaky eyes. Oh, 
Oh, this guy's buff. What's good with you? Oh, that yeah, that guy. White and black hair. Sumaki. Something like that. Sumiaki. Okay, Melt, Melt's cooking. Melt, Melt's having a, an arc. Of course, of course them two are fighting, yeah. Honey is a step ahead. Hello. Oh, this guy's like a giga actor. She <laughs> that's a good shot. Oh, she sees him himself, bro. Blade the protagonist? Alright, this guy's this guy's another level. Oh, 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 oh. Bro, there's so many characters. That guy has like yellow hair. What's going on there? Oh, I love the paint. Oh, the paint. That's so that's so cool. It's like, because it's like crea creativity, like creation, you know? It's like they're acting as like painting a picture. But it's also like, dude, she's crazy. She got them crazy eyes. That is so sick. Oh, it's a beautiful sunset. Aww. Bro, I love Kana, bro. I forgot how much I love this character. I'm so glad the show's back. I love her. Yo! They're just talking about the show. <laughs> Melt, you're coming. <laughs> that's really funny. Oh, that's really funny. She's cooking, she's cooking, bro. You're gonna get outshined now, Kana. Come on, you gotta shape up. Oh yeah, I forgot that she's- Oh, dude. Remember when she did this with I? I can't, bro. She freaks me out. She's scary, bro. In a good way. She She's a force of nature, okay? I like this blade actor. Look at the backlighting on it. Like, I, dude, his hair was like blue a little bit. I liked that. Okay. It's a 2.5D. That's what I was talking about earlier where they have like the screens and stuff, like the projections or whatever. I thought that was really cool. Dang, that's it? Holy crap, that's hard work. Mm, remember the OST, bro? What is that guy doing with that face? Alright, sorry. Pronunciation help. <laughs> okay. Or just, oh, it's just kanji, it's in kanji. I see. Yeah. What group are you in? Or are you with them? I and Aqua's alone.
Gee, yeah, that's an aqua moment. That is an aqua moment. Is he staring at Kana in glooming? Be a bit more friendly with me, yeah. Come on. Dude, his, he's so analytical. Dang. Dang. All right, let's see if she can match that, that Kana energy, that level of performance. Oh no, she's about to be... Ooh. This is a good shot. Where are we going, bro? We're going into, like, her mindscape. I can't. It's episode one. Fitting. Dang, they're shipping the ships. Oh, that's depressing. That's brutal. This guy's like, what are you talking about, man? He just agrees? Okay. <laughs> Bro, life imitates fiction. Ooh, ooh, she's cooking now. You gotta talk with the director. Oh, dang. Mm. It's not really much you can fix, it seems. Oh, she feel dude, she she feels herself in the character, bro. Oh, is that the author? Okay. I saw you in the OP. Oh, maybe we can get the, the script adjusted. Because this is the script writer, it's, it seems. Yeah. The manga's author's coming by. Ooh, okay. Refreshments in the fridge. <laughs> I 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Aqua, Aqua don't care, bro. Aqua, get in there. Do it. Oh, he's just prepping her up. <laughs> she embarrassed. Right. That's and that's what she already thought. So I don't know how we can fix that. Right. That yellow shirt guy. <laughs> Mm, true. That makes sense. He's basically saying you got hoed. He's saying you got hoed. Had to had to cut your time a little bit. It is what it is. Yeah. Okay. No. Oh. It's kind of funny. Your job's to be a persuasive stage device. I mean, that's fair, though. Yeah. Like, you're not the main character, and that's okay. It gives her something else to cook with. She can cook. I trust. Is that the uh, author? Oh, they're shy! Alright, new favorite. Oh, they're shy. Her support. Oh, no. Yeah, her. Okay. Aww. Oh wait. Yeah, I didn't even. I didn't even recognize you at first. Don't get mad at him. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It happens to the best of us, bro. Uh, but in the last episode, they kind of clutched it out a little bit. He didn't, though. I guess. Aww. A re oh, real, real alert. Okay, we all agree. Yeah, this is. I love this character already. Aww. Oh, it's getting brought to life. That makes me that makes my like me so happy, bro. Seeing like a creator see their thing get brought to life like this, like what a wonderful feeling that must be, bro. Bro, if I was like if I had like something in mind get turned into a freaking play, bro, I'm going to every rehearsal. I'm going to every show. That'd be so fun to watch. Unless they flopped it, but Oh, she got a problem. What up? What's going on? <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. The love interest part? 
The whole thing. Ah, it's over. It's over. All right, guys, wrap it up. We gotta relearn the entire thing. Oh, we get the ED. What is that object? Dude, what is that object? It's like a. Is that sand? Who's sitting in there? Oh, it's Ruby just chilling. Yo, what's good with you, girl? What are you doing in the glass? <laughs> what are you doing in there? Hmm. Hmm. Dang, we get an entire Ruby focused ED. Is this gonna be all her? Breaking free, breaking out. I kind of feel like, dude, her character can really cook. I think she, like, especially with the focus on Tokyo Blade, I don't know what chance to get. Is she running like a dog? What are you doing? <laughs> No, she just running normally. I thought she was going doo 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 doo. I was about to say, okay, sorry, sorry, my fault, my fault. The black dress is interesting too. Makes me think funeral a little bit. Grief type beat. What's on the other side of the door? Birds? Are they like scavengers? That's freaky, dude. What are they doing? Oh yeah, and that's it. That's the episode, bro. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited, bro. This show's about to be so good. Season two is about to cook so hard. It's crazy. So OP ED, I'll either analyze them next episode or I'll do a special or like an in-between one where we analyze the both of them. Um, oops, don't open that. Because there's a lot to cook with with both of those guaranteed, but let's stick on the episode for this one. Let's stick on the episode for this one. Um, my goodness. So first things first. Um, it's... It's crazy how, like, it's obvious. It's very obvious what they're doing, where the characters... Okay, it's crazy because it's like, I say characters, but there's, like, the characters, like, Kana, and then the, there's the characters they're playing, like, Tsurugi, right? So, but for, like, Kana, and, like, that level of characters, like, Aqua, Kana, Akane, whatever, um, they're all, like, a lot of their conflicts are being represented and like repeated in the show they're playing, right? And that's, I think that's that's pretty directly done. Um, like the, they were talking about like the the failed love interest. It's like, it's not a good, mo like, it's not good. It's not a good omen, let's say. It's not a good omen if I'm Akane to be like, oh, my character is the failed love interest of my current boyfriend's character. And the person that everybody ships my current boyfriend with is my current love rival. Like, that's that's kind of a bad situation to be in, you know? Um, yeah. And then poor Aqua. I've, dude, Aqua is such a menace. I love him. I love him. I love his character. But, and he's a, he's a menace in his own way. Like, menace has a really negative connotation. I don't mean it that bad. But just the whole, like... Like, just every, like, a lot of the things he says, where, like, she walks over, and it's just, and he's just like, yeah. And she's like, don't say yeah, yeah, right here. She's like, yeah, you know, I'm your girl. Like, she's saying, like, I'm your girlfriend. Like, don't just, like, hit me with a yeah, hit me with, like, a hey. You know? Give me something a little bit more. Like, like she she doesn't, she's not getting the affection she's wanting from the lad. Um, and it's like, I got bad news. Well, but then also, y'all agreed it was a work thing. So it's still kind of in, like, a... You know, in a tumultuous, like, where for her to be like, give me a little bit more, it's like, is she trying to fit the role of the work girlfriend thing, or is she actually, like, not feeling, you know what I mean? So it's like, that's a little bit of an issue, um, which just makes the situation even more complicated, right? But even if, like, that's the thing, even if he doesn't, like, say it out loud very well, he's like, he's... He obviously is caring about the people around him because he's talking, he's like analyzing them and trying to give advice and all that kind of type of stuff. He's just on the emotional side. Homeboy's, uh, you know, he's got some trauma, okay? I don't blame the guy, all right? Especially when we have like the scene in the show where it's him holding his love interest as she bleeds out. And he's like, yeah, this? It's like, okay, it's just, it's just, it's just I. Like that's <laughs> as much as as much as like there's the 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 parallels between like the love triangle and then the love triangle in the show. There's also like 
the eye connection, which also makes sense because Akane also serves as like an as an eye connection because of like the mid part of season one, right, where she um, like took on her pers her persona so well. So it's like he's probably got a little bit of that. He's got some feelings there that now he's like getting a repeat of. Like that's just it can't be good for his mental. It just cannot be good for Aqua's mental. Because dude, and it's crazy. I mean, even just look at the this right immediately the next line is this story is a work of fiction is it aqua's voice I, I think it's aqua saying that too so it's like there's this moment of like that i think would be uh like a huge parallel for his trauma with i and that would probably cause him a lot of distress and it's crazy that the next thing that he says or is said is this story is a work of fiction it's like he has to tell himself that he's having to tell himself it's just a work of fiction right that's, that's kind of the, the feeling I get there. Bro, he's only 16? That's crazy. I forgot he's only 16. Yeah, young boy. Young man. Well, but remember, he's got, like, you know, he's got the whole past life thing. But, um, so, but, like, I, I yeah, that's just crazy. Yeah. Poor, and then poor, dude, Ruby, what is your character arc about a bee? Especially with the ED, right? Where she's, like, in this, like, glass thing. And then there's, like, the droplets of different colors coming in. And she runs, I mean, she's, like, dancing to the different colors, and then she runs and, like, breaks out and then goes to a door. What does that mean, bro? It's just, it's, it's, it's crazy because, like, like, what does she get to do other than be Komachi? You know what I mean? Because, I mean, Kana's in both groups, and then, like, Memcho's only in the one group. It was only in B. Komachi, and then it's, right? And so that, that kind of creates a situation where like as much as we whenever we're focusing on tokyo blade we're not getting any of the ruby juice and i'm, I'm kind of waiting for ruby to like get a lot more action because i think i don't know yeah that's just where i'm currently at um so i'm excited to see where that goes specifically where her arc develops or where her character just goes in general because she hasn't really like like at the, at the end of season one was good for her character right where um she like was talking with um kana and like helped kana out right before their performance but you know i'm still still kind of waiting for another shoe to drop on her character a little bit excitedly all right that's not a, that's not a complaint that's a buff that's something i'm excited for dude and then this scene in the middle this was lit this is crazy bro oh what a good shot what a good shot bro she's covered in yellow paint and i love to see that oh oh it's not yellow paint bro Oh my goodness, look at this a little closer, bro. It's literally her getting in character. The right side is her as Kana, the left side is her as her character. Because it's got the hair ornament, and then the clothing changes right here. That's why she, It's- Oh, that's even better! <laughs> it's not just, like, painting the scene in, like, a visual metaphor. It's also, like, he's- With just sheer force of acting, power is, is like, pulling her into character, bro. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my goodness. And then it like comes snap back to reality and she like, oh shit. This guy kind of know how to do it. Yeah. I also like that he just looked like a dude, bro. He really just looked like a dude. Shout out people that just look like dudes. Ooh, that little smile. Oh my goodness. It's kind of my favorite character. I think she still is, bro. I don't remember where I put her at the uh, season one tier list, but I love her character, bro. She's just so like, I just love her personality. She just has so much personality, bro. Something about her, bro. Oh, look at these character design things on the wall. Blair, uh, the princess. I think that's um, Aqua's character. I'm gonna have to go through my notes and freaking mass update them. Who is this, bro? This character with like the gradient white to black hair and the crazy eyes, bro. They do eyes so good in this show. Eyes as in these, not as in eyes the character. I the character. But no, dude, eyes in this show are always so beautiful. That's one of my favorite things. But yeah, now it's like... Ooh, she returns fire. Akana get hit with the splash in the in the the back. Oh, this camera work. Oh my goodness, the camera work. I love it when a, when an anime cares about its camera, bro. Because we watch everything with cameras, right? We watch like movies, like live action movies have cameras, so we have to. There's always like we we understand TV and film in terms of like through the camera's POV, and so whenever there's like cool things that like the camera move we can feel the camera moving it's just the perspective right but i always think of it in the camera we feel it move behind kana it doesn't like clip through kana's face right like it has it feels like it's we're in the room right and so it's like we we turn and we're we're looking past her over to over to kana bro 
That's so good. That's so good. Like, look at this shot. It's just, it's just stylistically so good. It's like black and white with the orange splash. That's just striking. That is just striking. And then we're getting, like, nice action shots. Like, bro, this isn't even a fight. And we're getting, like, Whoa. you know what I mean? Like, bro is literally just waving a paper around. But look how much they they're letting us care. Bro, Aqua, what are you looking at back there? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, even Aqua's a little... Look at him. He opens his mouth. Aqua's like, oh, God, dang, this guy know how to act. Oh, my goodness. Literally just take this shot of Aqua in the blue and Akane in the orange and put them next to each other and then give it, like, a nice parallel. Oh, my goodness. That'd be such a good shot. Kana, them crazy eyes. But, yeah, like, this shot and then how it... And then the parallel to, like... To like this other one here with aqua is so good Ooh. aqua i'm just waiting for aqua to like like i think the good ending for aqua is when he act like because i wanted them to be great and wonderful and it's like aqua you could be happy and a great performer i think there's a part of you that would be down for that aqua so i'm just when can we let the vengeance go but also i'm kind of on your side with the vengeance but yeah, ooh, even he had the blue streaks in the eyes. Blue streaks in the eyes I love, by the way, because it's like the, it, it's so good for movement, bro. Because it's, it tracks to his pupil, right? And so we can tell that his head was like ziggity zaggity. Bro, he's ziggity zagging. This is so good. Little hop. Oh my goodness, I love Kata, bro. And they paint a beautiful sunset, which is like, what's the, it's like the world around them, bro. They're not even just bringing each other into character. They're bringing the world into character. That's so good. Yeah, this was my favorite part of the episode, I think. Like, easily. This was so cool. I love when they're creative, man. It was such a creative way to, to show them getting super into, into the acting, right? What a, what a brilliance. Truly. Um... Oh my goodness, her little outfit. I love this outfit, bro. The little heart. That's kind of sweet, bro. Shout out, hey, shout out the show for putting them in different outfits, right? It would be so easy to just recycle, but you got to respect them putting them in different outfits. Like this guy was, wasn't he in a yellow shirt in a different scene? Look, now he's in a different shirt. Why do you have the back half of your head yellow? That's crazy. What's up with green shirt here? Gradient hair. I'm so excited to learn more about gradient hair. But yeah, he cooks, he cooks. Um, the failed love interest thing, that surely isn't a good omen for your relationship with a uh, homeboy, whether it be work or not, you know what I mean? Like, just in general, because there's a bit of jealousy and such, just kind of everywhere, so that's not a good, good you know, it's a bit of a problem. Um, I do like how we got to look into Akane's, like, analytical mind, too, how she, like, pieces it together, puzzle piece. That, that's very fitting for how we've under, we've come to understand how she acts, so that was fun to see and, like, how that how that like comes up and battles with uh like a the adaptation of a play it's like i mean that's what this show does so well is it really brings you into the world of like these different types of creation right like the we saw that a lot with like the acting in the tv show so like there was a lot of intricacies and in, like how that came together and how it kind of failed and then you know the creator got to see that one moment with with aqua and ruby that was like or aqua and kana that was like really brought to life and how much that meant to her right that was all like so that hit me so hard and so now we're seeing it again but it's they're cool it's cool that they're not just repeating another tv show or anything like that like we went tv show with the with the 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 one that uh, aqua and kana was in that i just mentioned and then we went into like the the dating show right like the reality more like a reality tv type thing and so we got to see the scripting there and now we're going into a screenplay right that's so smart because it's it, a keeps it fresh for the audience us but also it, it lets you like keep bringing in like the intricacies of these different like mediums and how that can like create conflict just by itself and then also how that parallels with our characters conflict right like especially with akane it's super obvious so i i really really like that as well right that they they keep moving between different mediums i mean what else could you even do what screenplay like reality tv like bro can we what Mr. <laughs> okay, what if we do like Survivor, bro? <laughs> Could you imagine a Survivor arc? It's like they just all go play Survivor. That'd be really funny, wouldn't it? All right, I'm just trying to think of like all the different types of TV shows. Home makeover show, bro. I don't know. A cooking show. We put them all in MasterChef. They don't know how to cook. 
Uh, well, they know how to cook, just not with food, you know what I mean? Yeah, but I do like how they've, they've jumped between mediums and to, to really, um, like, it just gives us an insight. And it, there's such a meta aspect, which I love, where, like, the creator of Tokyo Blade walks in the studio with the creator of I'll Go With Sweet Today, right? But think about it. This was written by somebody. This was adapted into an anime. There was a manga, Oshinoko, that was adapted into the anime, Oshinoko. And in the manga slash anime, there are characters and their works are being adapted. So it's like, it's so cool. You can so easily translate like how the creator of Tokyo Blade or with Sweet Today, how they feel about their works. I can just so easily picture the creator of Oshino Ko feel with, with Oshino Ko, right? I mean, imagine seeing your story about like creators having their things be adapted, seeing that story get adapted into an anime. That must be so like meta, surreal, trippy, like great. That That's my favorite thing about Oshinoko. I forgot, bro. It does the drama really good. Like, I don't forget, Okane was so brutal on my heart last season. Aqua is like such an interesting character. Um, Aqua, there's like a, you know, there's a bunch of stuff going on on that side of the fence with like character drama. But more than all of that, I think what I really love about the show, because it does it and it's something I don't see otherwise, is how it treats creation, how it treats acting, how it treats performance, right? And that's what caused me to have a mental breakdown, I remember, at season one, episode one of Oshinoko, bro. I literally gives me like, like identity crisis, bro. Ai's character, which is why I love her so much. She's such a phenomenally written character. She's so fascinating. And the, the ripples she has on the other characters are really fascinating as well. But even on her own, bro, just I really like, it makes, it, it just constantly reminds me of what I'm doing because bro, even more than like, the, like I was just talking about the, the whole thing of creation, right? How like the show has to was created by somebody and it's a show about people creating things right performing things acting things adapting things but the crazy thing is i'm kind of doing it a little bit right now and any any reactor is doing that right now right where they're responding to but they're putting on their own performance right and that is just it's such a it's such a like part of the process that is never really looked at that closely and that's what i love about oshido Ko, bro as much as, like, I love the, the characters, the motivations, the drama, the stakes, you know, the mental, like, scary things, Aqua, the beautiful animation, the really creative, like, flow of the scenes, right, the beautiful transitions, the really good OPED, the OST, the music, as much as I love all those things, the way it talks about performance and creation it really just takes it all the way home for me. Whoo! This show is so good, bro. I'm so excited for season two to keep going, bro. Oh my god, this is so good, bro. What else do I even gotta say? Okay, let me just do one more scroll through. I am gonna, I think I'm gonna do OPED in a separate video. I think that'll be good. Um, and I kind of want, it's, you know, it's good to get these out quick because, you know, they just came out. Um, yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, this shot was so good too, bro. Where it's like Aqua, Aqua is sitting down with Akane. But then there's like the, another Aqua is like looking over at his target. I mean, that just, bro, it's stuff like that, that keeps it fresh, man. Because it's crazy. We're literally just, we're literally just chilling in this big room. But they managed to make chilling in a big room interesting by doing stuff like this, right? And then the blue, the red, I mean, that's pretty obvious. of just like kind of clean coloring, right? To make, to make it really clear. Um... Ooh, the darkness in the eyes. Oh my goodness, I forgot how scary Aqua looks sometimes, man. Ooh. This, 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 these characters. I love these side characters, bro. I'm so excited to see more of these side characters, man. But yeah, okay. How many swords? 24, 27, 27 swords. We're gonna have to figure out who's gonna get all the swords. Um, There once was a great war, renowned warriors. But the conflict saw no victor. The 21 swords. The story begins with a certain man obtaining a single sword. Blade. Let me just watch this one more time now that we know the characters, right? Um, hey, shout out, Blade. Who's next? Who's next? This is Kana's character, right? I think this is Kana. Yeah, this is Kana's character. Dang, she got crazy looking swords, bro. These are like barbed, man. What is going on here? You could like, is it like a sword breaker, right? Where you like catch the other person's sword like in the gaps and then like snap it or like wrench it out of their hand. I think I've seen that before. This, 
This is one of the new characters, right? Oh, that's, um, that's, um, Melt. Isn't that Melt? Bro, no wonder. I said he was my least favorite. My fault. My fault, bro. My fault, Melt. Hey, that's on me. That's on me, bro. Then that's Aqua. I mean, obviously, right? I mean, Aqua's getting typecast as the creepy stalker guy. <laughs> which is, again, so... Which, again, is so spooky because it parallels Eyes Stalker, right? So, it, like, that, it's again happening again, just like in the, um, the first performance that we saw. All right? All right, I think that was, right? Or is that... Wait, wait, wait. Am I getting confused? No, because that's actually Aqua, isn't it? Wait, 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 wait. Let me check now. Wait, this is important. This is important enough to check. Um, That's the OP. I need to see when you go between all the characters and, like, tell me who everyone is, bro. Because I don't want to, um... I need to, I need to know this, man. Aqua. Aqua's first play. Hi, Aqua. So good to see you. Toki. He's Toki. Okay. Aqua's Toki. Akane's... Uh, the princess. Which one's Toki? Which one's Toki? One more time. Because I might be falling for the typecast. Is this Toki? No, this is Monmei. So that's not... No, this is not Aqua. Sorry, 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 sorry. We're corrected. The next one's Aqua. Wait, who's Monmei, bro? Yeah, this is Aqua. He escaped the typecasting! Good job, Aqua. He escaped the typecasting. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I recognize the shape of his face. I recognize the shape of his face. And then the princess, which is Akane. We already know this. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. This person is Monmei. Sakuya. Okay. The new, one of the newer characters. Or like the, yeah. And then there's Mel. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. All right, I think we're I think we're good on that, and I'll go through on my notes and get good on that um, between this episode and next episode. But honestly, y'all, I think that's gonna do it for this one. Shout out the the this other character too, the freaking um the freaking creator of Tokyo Blade. They look really sweet and happy, and I like introverts that get to see their stuff get brought into life. That makes me really happy. Look how happy they look. Um, except we're gonna have to revise the whole script. It's basically over. But yeah, that's all I really got for this one, y'all. On to the next. Season 2, episode 2 should be very, very exciting. I'll be back next week. Hopefully you will too. But until then, until the next episode, of course, of course, of course, if you like the video, like the video, subscribe. If you are new, blah, blah, blah. Comment down below if you have anything to say or join the Discord and talk to me other Oshinoko fans there. But until then, until the next uh, episode, that's all I got for tonight. I will be seeing you then. Peace.